Over two billion people worldwide, more than half of them children, lack sanitary facilities of any kind. Illness from contaminated food and water is a major cause of death in these children. Medical Teams International and many other organizations are addressing this problem by helping communities build new, more sanitary composting latrines. These latrines, made of cement and other materials, work by storing and drying out the fecal material until it is safe for disposal later. These slides show construction of one type of latrine in Mexico City in 2006. Other designs and materials can also be used. The work is difficult and dirty. It takes several days to build one latrine. The methods used may not be the ones you might choose. Volunteers should remember, however, that they are there in the community to help local families, to work with them, not give advice. There is plenty of hard work for everyone, depending on your skills. One difficult job is mixing cement, often by hand, and carrying it in buckets to where it is needed. Here, the bottom of the latrine, a cement slab about four feet by eight feet, has already been poured and walls are now being started. This latrine will have two separate chambers. You can also see reinforcing wires set up at the corners to provide rigidity and support for the structure. Also you can see the string stretched out as a guide to keep the structure level and square. The latrine walls are now complete and also the corner posts are poured for support. The back of the chambers are being left open until later. Now the insides of the chambers are plastered with a coating of cement to make them waterproof. A wooden form is constructed on top of the walls to pour the floor with more reinforcing wire for support. Here you can see the floor form ready for pouring. Also a vent pipe for the chambers is in place. Two buckets will temporarily form the holes in the floor for the toilet. The floor is poured and then allowed to cure for a day to gain strength. The basic chambers are now completed. You can still see the holes, the buckets left. The walls are framed with two by fours and a corrugated tin roof is put on. Then the walls of a heavy of heavy tar paper are fastened on and a door frame is installed. This latrine has a place for hand washing set up outside. This type of toilet bowl is called a separating toilet because the urine is collected in front and then drained away. The drier fecal material goes into one of the chambers below. The toilet bowl is placed over one chamber for several months. Then that side is sealed off and the bowl moved to the other side. After several more months, the material on the first side has dried and composted and may be safely removed. And then the process continued. Again, congratulations on choosing to go on a service trip with Northwest Medical Teams. Here's a picture of our group from our service trip. Bye.